Hello ladies and gentlemen, Magnodox here for another episode of Dark Souls. And now, I went back and I healed up and I killed these two guys again. And now we are back for more. And now, these very same ghoul things that helped us, I'm assuming, are going to try to kill us. Yep. Luckily they're very weak. I don't know what I really am killing them for, they're just kind of out here on the ledge minding their own business. But, they are creepy. And they... And... What, what, why are they out here? What are they guarding? Will they attack me if I did... if I kept going without killing them first? Or is this the only way I can go? Because I knew that door was the only one that was open. Really? Huh. Another thing with wings that cannot fly back up. Nope. Guess it <laughs> keep back keep back jumping. Alright, well apparently the easiest way to take care of those guys. Just make them back off. What are you talking about? I don't think it's a dead end. Yeah, it's a dead end. I should have listened to him. Some sometimes those signs are right. Sometimes you sometimes you just gotta listen to him. I didn't. I made the mistake. So instead, I'm gonna go this way. Eliminating what one at a time? Oh, okay. Apparently, eliminating that one at a time. Where did that come from? Is that it right there? I think I see it. Oh, all it was like a, a spear launched at me. So maybe staying out in the open isn't the best idea. Okay, there's one behind me as well. Hello. How's it going? Just give me time to breathe. Nope. No time to breathe. Well, that was lovely. What a great introduction to the new area, guys. Oh, looks like this area is going to be twice as fun as every other one we visited so far. It seems like it's just full of love and embrace and acceptance. Okay, well, until I get back to love and acceptance land. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you here. See you when I get back. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And I think I made the mistake of before going that way, I should go, or try to go this way, maybe this will be, no not even, can't even interact with it. Never mind, they just put that door, where, uh, door there to tease you make you think that there's a separate option. When in all actuality there's not. Correct. Oh good. Oh, I thought that one shot him. For a second I thought the fight was already over. One, you weird thing. Yeah, back off the edge. Oh, oh crap. Okay, good. Luckily, we can always trust them to jump off the edge. Idiots. <laughs> Don't you realize you have wings? I don't see why they suddenly forget to use their wings. I mean, they flew me all the way over here, surely. They can fly themselves out of a... falling off a cliff. Okay, let's see. Lining them up. Their spears are so... They've got so much reach. Oh, come back up the edge. Okay. This just became so much easier. Alright. <laughs> so that's another two of those things down. Oh. Okay, so apparently, once I lose the safety of those guardrails, 
I'm in for a treat. Oh boy. Do they lead me? Are they actually good at shooting? No, they just try to shoot wherever I am. So as long as I'm constantly moving, they can never touch me. Unless I get right up close to them. Oh gosh. Oh, you suck. You don't know how physics work. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Why did they feel the need to put those guys up there? Welp, time to begin my trek back to happiness and wellness land with lovely, lovely things. Where everyone gets along, there's no violence, where archers don't shoot you off a cliff into the abyss. It's a great place. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome. Welcome back from our little break. Whoa, that one almost hit me. That actually went through the guardrails. Thanks for the good luck sign, Azera secret door into a magical world of bonfires and safety. Okay, just gotta keep moving. Moving over here. This guy should fall off the edge. Nope, he's actually gonna be good this time. Okay, safe. That pillar is going to block the arrows. Okay. Okay. Now I can move on. I guess I can go this way. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I really don't want to deal with that other arrow guy. I'm going to assume this is the way I'm supposed to go. I'm going to drop down safe and sound. And I'm going to move on. Okay. Can you give me a hint on what I'm supposed to do? You are a fatty. Okay, you got two strangely wooden looking doors. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, hey, Nate Solaire. I was looking for you earlier. Sorry I forgot your name. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. Oh, thanks, Nightsalir. See, even though I forgot his name, he doesn't mind. He's like, yeah, happens all the time. Call upon me whenever you need help. And I'll be there. I'll get some more endurance. Actually, let's get some more vitality. Better not cancel. And let's also... I don't know if this is the... If this next fight is... Orenstein, excuse me, if this next fight is Orenstein, or if... Orenstein Smo, or if it's... Or I know the next boss fight is Orenstein Smo, but I don't know how far away it is. Because if this next... If it's like two steps away, then I'm probably going to upgrade this... <laughs> bonfire to actually have two Estus, or ten, give ten Estus flasks, but if it's later on, I'd rather get the closest bonfire there to give me ten Estus flasks, rather than waste a humanity. I am going to use humanity now in case the boss fight does come up, so I can summon Knight Solaire to help me in the fight. Well, let's do this door. Oh, and a Black Knight. Let's do this. Okay, you got a lot of oomph in your little swing there. Okay, let's do this. Easy peasy. Black, Black Knight got nothing. Is this even a Black Knight? Actually, this might just be a regular Knight. 
or not a regular knife, but a knife like it's in this area. Did he drop a special weapon or anything? No, that was just a regular knight. Are you a mimic? I assume not. Okay. Sunlight metal. Sweet. If only I was gonna become part of a guild and fight some uh fight some people online. But I'm afraid that's not gonna happen anytime soon. I'm too busy trying to beat the game. Oh hello. Yeah, these are just knights for this area. They look kind of like the Black Knights, though. Come on. Ooh, hoo hoo. Ouch. Good thing there's a bonfire nearby. Good thing there's a bonfire very close. So that whenever I get overwhelmed, or if ever I die, I will just go right back to the bonfire. It's right through that door. I can try again over and over until the day that I die in real life. That's how Dark Souls works. Okay, another one down. As well as another Estus Flask. Got some more doors over here. I want to find all the items I can. Is there a knight in here? No. Yes. Perfect. No, there's not a knight in here. Yes, as in, hooray, there's no knight in here. <laughs> Try it. Hey, hey, hey. You, know, you could just said secret doorway ahead, and I'm pretty sure everyone who plays this game would understand what you're saying there. But thanks for the hint anyways. I probably would not have done that. This place is spooky. That's another one. I hate how there's just random hallways and they're dead ends. That cannot help you anyway. This place is spooky. You're not a mimic. Oh yes you are. You are in fact a mimic. I think I tested it before just trusting a random chest. That's how people die. They look at a chest and they say, oh, that's not a giant monster that could eat me. And they say, that's just a chest. Then they go in, they open the chest, and you know what happens? They die. Cold club. They die every time. Are all these guys mimics? I think I hit you. But I'm not taking the chance. Okay, yeah, I definitely got to that time. Ooh, Dragon Tooth. I wonder what I can use that for. Are you a mimic? Okay. No, he's not. Havel's Great Shield. Ooh, I already have Havel's Ring. But I don't have... I don't even think I can use his Great Shield. It's probably too much for me. Oh, yeah, it's all of Havel's armor. But why is his armor over here if I killed him way back? Way, way back. Um, okay, there's no other chests. There's no... I'm not, I'm not gonna... I'm not about to walk down, around this entire room checking for secret doors. I'm going to assume that the chests were all that that room had to offer. I'm going to say thank you, and goodbye. Thanks for the loot. Oh, they're not killing me with Mimic. Doesn't open to the side. Alright. So now there's nowhere to go but up. Oh gosh. Is that, is that the level of jokes I've come to? What? Whoa! <laughs> I thought it was just a dead end. Yeah. Sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you. Another mimic, huh? You guys are just all over the place. Come on. So try to try to hug me. Get attacked. 
try to hug me, get attacked. That's the, that's the pattern we're going for here. What do you drop? Silver coin. Hmm. Five of them. I wonder what they do. Another chest in the corner. Another knight at the end of the hallway. Enemies everywhere. Shoot! I didn't. Ch I didn't check it. I didn't check it. I didn't check it. I didn't check it. I let curiosity get the better of me. I thought the other one was a mimic. Why would they put two mimic chests? in the same area and so I went along and I did the same thing I said not to do I trusted the chest never trust chests remember remember everybody before you open anything cabinets refrigerators chests especially but don't forget those cabinets and refrigerators they can be oh cruel mistresses But so before you open a desk drawer, you know, a TV box, okay, do you know, I want to recover lost power? Definitely, definitely not try to open that chest. Just make sure you give it a good one-two. Um, hit it with a nice left hook. That way, if it's a mimic, it will reveal itself. And you won't get eaten. Toilet bowl seats, garage doors, car doors, anything that you have to pull on, you have to make a pulling motion, and after you pull on it, it uh, it rotates around a hinge, In in most cases, most would consider it quote-unquote opens up, you gotta just punch it, just to be safe. You don't want to end up like me. You're just a random night at the end of a hallway. Okay, that I thought that was alive for a second, but it's not. It's just your average, ordinary, everyday mounted dragon head. Yeah. Not a lot, a lot of dragon heads. Why can't I mount all the things I kill? Why can't I have a gaping dragon? Head mounted to my wall. Okay, how close can I get? Just close enough. Ooh, did he just block me? What the heck? Okay, I need some room to maneuver, please. Okay, that actually hit him. Ouch. Okay, apparently when you're standing... Ah, oh, crap, I just... Never mind, no, nothing happened. I did not just spill my water all over the ground near some electronics. It's okay. I have a rag on standby for such an occasion. But... I don't understand how you're standing beside the knight... And he swings, and his spear stabs through the wall, and you're just, like his knuckles, the knuckles holding his spear, brush across your chest, and oh, blood splatters across the walls, and then you fall down dead. I mean, it's great when it happens to other enemies, <laughs> but not when it happens to me. Well, I'm all out of time for this episode, and I got a little bit of a spill to clean up, so thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys next time.